In this video, we are going to evaluate the given integral 1 over 1 plus tangent x to the power root 2 dx integrating from x equal to 0 to x equals to pi over 2. This is a problem from Putnam 1980. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. The key to solve this problem is to use a clever substitution. Notice that if I let f of x to be equal to this expression, then f of pi over 2 minus x is actually equal to 1 over 1 plus tangent x. Now it becomes tangent of pi over 2 minus x, all to the power square root of 2. And in fact, tangent of pi over 2 minus x is exactly equal to 1 over tangent x and all the whole fraction is brought to power square root of 2. Now if we can take top common denominator within these two terms after some simplification you will see that it's equal to tangent x all to the power square root of 2 over 1 plus tangent x all to the power square root of 2. So this is very similar to our integrand and there's one more thing is that that's very interesting is that these two functions f of x and f of pi over 2 minus x the two functions labeled in green actually have some equal to 1. equal to 1. Now this will be very useful in our integration. So if I were to integrate f of x dx from x equal 0 to pi over 2, then I can let u to be equal to pi over 2 minus x. So consequently, x is equal to pi over 2 minus u. It's just in interchanging the locations of the variables x and u. Now for the differential, dx is equal to negative du. And if I were to change the entire inter integral, I have to change the limits as well. When x is 0, then u is pi over 2. When x is pi over 2, then u is 0. So in fact, I'm reversing the lower and upper limits. So this integral becomes integrating f of pi over 2 minus u du. Now a limit for the lower limit is actually u equals to pi over 2, while for the upper limit is u equals 0. Of course, I need to rewrite um, dx into minus du instead. It's not just du, but minus du. Now, I'm going to make use of this minus sign to reverse the limits so it makes more sense. Integrating from u equals 0 to pi over 2 on the function f of pi over 2 minus u du. Now at this point, recall that we have established the sum f of x plus f of pi over 2 minus x is actually equal to 1. So f of pi over 2 minus u is in fact 1 minus f of u du. Now I can split this integral into just integrating 1 and subtracted by just integrating f of u. like this. So at this point we can actually solve our original integral because our original integral is actually exactly equal to integrating f of u du from u equals 0 to pi over 2. It's just a dummy variable. In fact if I just replace all the u's into x then they're exactly the same. So that means 
I can make a conclusion that therefore the double of our original integral is exactly equal to pi over 2 because integrating 1 which only give u and so from 0 to pi over 2 the entire definite integral will be exactly pi over 2 so that means our final answer is just half of pi over 2 that means it's pi over 4 this is our final answer